I'm sure by now you have been seeing all of the AI overviews popping up at the top of Google search results. And what I found really interesting was that last week I was doing a competitive analysis for our client and I actually found that the top competitor was actually gaining traffic from just being ranked in the AI overviews and found it really fascinating. And so now we're actually starting to consider, should we actually start going after these keywords that we specifically believe that we could rank in these AI overviews? So I wanna give you an idea of what that strategy would look like and what you would need to do to optimize your content if you would like to rank in the AI overviews, because as you know, they are currently appearing at the top of search and they're pulling all of those organic search results down. Now, these AI overviews have been appearing in Google search results when Google determines that a generative response would be helpful for the searcher in order to pull in a lot of information from various sources and from Google's knowledge graph. And we have been seeing these pop up in different formats from mini articles, step-by-steps, tables, and other formats. And what's really interesting is that you can actually pop over to the SEMrush sensor. And this is going to tell you specifically the amount of searches that an AI overview is actually appearing for in any particular industry. So you simply look at your particular industry and in the SERP feature section, look for AI overview, and that will give you a better idea of how many searches have this AI overview appear. And while AI overviews are of course still being tested, and I'm sure they're going to continue to evolve over time, right now we are seeing these for a lot of information type searches, a lot of planning searches, question-based searches. So the question is, how do you actually optimize your content to rank in these AI overviews? Now, according to Google Search Central, there's actually nothing extra that you need to do other than just follow the Google Search Essentials. So let's consider what you should focus on. And of course, be aware that this is still relatively new feature here. And so the SEO strategies for this particular SERP may change over time. But for now, this is what we're seeing working and we're doing our best guess here based on the data that we're seeing to determine how to rank for these since it's not down to a science as of yet. So the first thing that you want to do is check to see if you are already ranking in any AI overviews. You may not actually even realize it yet. So what you wanna do is you wanna head over to the SEMrush organic research. There you wanna look at your position tracker and you can select the SERP features there and look at the AI overview. Now, if you are ranking for the AI overview here, I would definitely go back and look at how your page is formatted. Look at the type of content that it has. How is it laid out? Just to gain a better understanding of what Google seems to like for your particular site for the AI overview. Now you'll also want to look for your competitors' websites as well and look at the keywords that they are ranking for and which one of those are actually appearing in the AI overviews as well. The second thing that you'll want to do is consider search intent. So AI overviews is all about giving the searcher exactly what they are looking for and a really clear and concise answer. So you wanna be aware of the searcher's intent when they are searching for a particular keyword. Now, the SEM Rush tool will even tell you this. It'll let you know what the search intent is. And then you'll look at the search results as well and see what content is ranking well for this. So you can look in SEM Rush, see the type of keyword, take a look at the Google search results page and see the type of content that is coming up before you actually create content around that particular keyword. So for example, if you have an informational search intent, then you may want to create an in-depth guide about that topic. If the search intent is more commercial, maybe you're gonna to want to compare products or do a side-by-side -side comparison so that the searcher can better understand the differences between the last couple of products they're comparing and then from there, make a purchase. And if the keyword is a question-based format, make sure that you are answering those questions directly in a clear and concise manner. Now, the third thing that you wanna do is all about formatting. You wanna make sure that you format the content so that it is easy to read. So what does that mean? You wanna make sure that you are using headers throughout the post. You want to use short paragraphs. Use that white space to make it easy on the eyes for the reader to be able to 
pull in as much information. Make sure that you are using bullets or numbered lists just to break up that content a bit as well. Add in those images, add videos if relevant or possible. And those different types of formatting elements will really help to create a piece of content where the searchers tend to stay. And it's also easier for Google to be able to pull pieces of that content to include in the AI overview. Now, the next thing that you want to do is continue with standard SEO practices, just as you would to rank in organic search results. If you're going for a specific SERP feature, you also want to make sure that everything else about your site is doing well. So this means things like having a good internal linking structure, making sure you have a mobile friendly website, that you have good page speed, that you have quality backlinks that are coming in. So a good place to start here is simply by running a site audit and checking for the errors and the warnings that you have and seeing if there's anything that you can do to better clean up your website from a technical aspect. Now, the fifth thing that you want to do is create comprehensive content. So Google also links cards to additional subtopics for searchers to click through. So not only are they answering the exact question, they're also including what they feel is relevant to the searcher and adding some of those subtopics in so that they can continue to explore more information based on their initial search. This is where if a comprehensive informational piece can be really Really helpful that is broken down into those different headers, those different sections that really cover a topic very well. Now, the sixth thing that you want to do is consider your the quality and the authoritativeness of your brand online. So the, your thinking here is beyond SEO. And again, this is good for just general SEO as well. So this isn't about just having one specific SERP feature be everything that you do. It's really about making sure that you have this solid strategy. You have a, a solid foundation of your website that has a, that is really strong from a technical aspect. It also has authoritativeness from just its representation online. And then you're building everything on top of that. You're continuing to focus on the different keywords you're adding in SEO, your other forms of marketing, uh, and, and making sure that your business your website can be found online and that it's found in a positive way. So this includes making sure you have social media set up and it's all positive. It has positive reviews come in, that you're getting customer reviews, not only on social, but on Google if, if possible, and in, on other websites as well. Uh, and are others talking about you? Are you getting mentions elsewhere online? So this can come in the form of backlinks as well, but the more that people are linking to you, the more that people are talking about you online. This is all building up that authority of the website. So as you can see, there is a lot that you would need to do that is really comes down to a lot of the standard SEO. So just like when you would attempt to rank for some of the other SERP features that there are, you also want to make sure that you have that solid foundation and then you're really focusing in on how your content is created, how it is written, how it is structured, it's formatted to help give you the best chances of ranking in their AI overviews. So do remember that these AI overviews are new. So there is no definitive guide for ranking them. So you'll want to make sure to use this as part of your overall online visibility plan. So what is your game plan from here? So you want to search for your target keywords to see if an AI overview actually even comes up. So you're not wasting your time trying to target that if it is not currently even coming up. Then you do want to optimize specifically for the AI overview as we have talked about here, and then continue to build on your standard SEO practices. So I hope you found this helpful. Any questions about AI overviews and how to go about ranking for them, feel free to drop a comment down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.